see David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the great country of UK, becoming uh, becoming uh, an advisor to a dictator, to a killer, the killer of Bahrain? Does he need the money to be a slave? Does he need the money to, to sanction the action the, uh, of those who had supported terrorism, who had financed and groomed uh, terrorism in the, in the world? What do the British people say when they see this ISIS and others and other terrorist groups working in this country and elsewhere. Would they blame Tony Blair, who has been advising those dictators? Would they, uh, would, would they blame those British officials who have been to Bahrain in the last month, Theresa May, Boris Johnson, Prince Charles, and others? Isn't it shameful to see them shaking hands with those blood-stained hands of those dictators? Why, should, why have these people, these people been killed? What did they do? Did they really kill that policeman? Doesn't anybody ask, why has that policeman uh, been to Bahrain? Why, what is he doing there in a small village in the country? This is number one. And number two, when all, all the international uh, human rights bodies consider the trial of these people as not and void, and that they are that it is uh, deprived of the international standards of justice. Now, how can we justify? How can anyone? How can the Prime Minister of UK? How can Boris Johnson, who issues today a very uh, mild and hopeless and useless uh, statement, how can they justify going and shaking hands with those uh, whose hands are blood stained with the killing of people? Twenty years ago. We were here also protesting against the execution of another man, another young man called Isa Khambar, who was executed in 1996 for allegedly also taking part in the killing of a policeman uh, who happened to uh, fall down in a trench which, was, which had water and apparently, according to the statements from the hospital, that he drowned. Now, would, that, does that justify killing this gentleman, that martyr? And throughout the past uh, six years, we have lost almost 200 of our people. Only a few weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, this young woman called Iman Saleh, a journalist, also a journalist, was killed and shot dead uh, in cold blood. Where it is her killer? Where is he? he and he is one a member of, uh, of the Al Khalifa ruling the tribe. They say, of course, he is in detention. What happened to his trial? Are we going to see him being uh, executed? Definitely not. Until now, none of those torturers, none of those killers, has been brought to justice. Has been put behind bars. Has been taken away from action. Uh, the, action the action that has been condemned by the international the human rights body. Today we are not calling these uh, three uh, young men. We are, not, uh, we, we are celebrating the victory of the values of these men over the evil values, evil intentions of those dictators. We do not believe that the blood of the martyrs goes in vain. It will never dry. It will always be a source of inspiration for the generation, it's not going to dry up just like that. It will remain uh, an irrigation for the big, large tree of freedom. Freedom is what we want. Freedom and justice is what our people have been struggling to achieve over the past 100 years, uh, almost two or 200 years since the beginning of the occupation by, of the land by this uh, tribe. I believe and I hope that this world will will it be, and I know it will be safer without these tribal regimes. These tribal regimes do not belong to the 21st century. They belong to the past. They are antiquated. They are uh, totally out of touch of the reality of the 20th century, 21st century. Yes, they hire mercenaries. Yes, they hire advisors. Yes, they have the money that they have looted from the people from their, and from their oil. But do they really 
uh, fit for office, I do not believe that they can save the humanity. Humanity today is passing through one of the, its darkest eras because of the existence of these antiquated backward reactionary dictatorships. In order for, for us to move forward, we need the international support to change, to transform the political system in our region, especially in the Gulf region, especially in Arabia, especially in Saudi Arabia. Anyone who, who supports this regime, a regime that until today does not allow a woman to drive a car, anyone who supports it, I think we have to put a big question mark uh, on his integrity, his or her integrity. This regime does not deserve to remain. This regime does not deserve respect. It only reserves condemnation and only deserves to be brought down. These young men have gone to heaven. God has received them. I am sure their, their faith will, uh, will inspire hundreds, thousands of people, not only in Bahrain, but in Arabia, to transform the political system that has been stagnated stagnating for the past decades. It is time for a change. It is time for a positive uh, tra transformation of the region to a heaven of peace, a heaven of fraternity, of love, rather than hate and killing. It is only those regimes that are the killers. Our people are people of peace and of progress. They are people of peace and value and also fraternity and friendship. Anyone who wants to shake hands with these people is welcome. But I hope that the, the people in the world will become aware that the world will not become peaceful as long as these dictators remain in office.